Well, howdy there, Internet students. Mr. Hermanson again. Um, guys, today we're going to talk about the second part of the 6.3D, which is geometric sequences. Okay. Um, what you need to know about geometric sequences, uh, instead of adding the same amount every time, you're multiplying by the same amount every time. Okay. So, um, so move on to page, I think it's 27. Uh, so, so if you, instead of subtracting consecutive terms to find a common um, difference, you're going to divide consec consecutive terms to see if there's a common ratio. Um, and I'll show you, just give you a quick example. So let's say my first term is 2, my second term is 10, my third term is 50, then it would be 250. This is what we call a geometric sequence. Now if I divide any term by the previous term, 10 divided by 2, I'll always get the same number. So 50 divided by 10 is 5. 250 divided by 50 is also 5. So we get, um, we call it a common ratio because you're dividing two numbers and that's a ratio. Okay. So, um, and then once you know that, um, a lot of the, um, the formula is pretty much the same. I'll just give you a quick example and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. Um, you need to know that common ratio, that 5, that's going to be part of your formula. And then you also need to know your zeroth term, just like we did in, in the past one. Now, to find this zeroth term in, so remember, this is going to be your first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So the invisible term, instead of adding or subtracting to find that term, you're going to have to divide to find that term by whatever you're multiplying by. Because this number times 5 has to equal 2. So I'm going to do 2 divided by 5 which is 0.4 to get that zero at term. All right, and then the formula looks like this. F of x, and you might want to use a g here just because it's a geometric sequence, so g for geometric, whatever. Um, but um, it's exponential because we're multiplying, so we're going to use the exponential equation. This is your multiplier, your common ratio, so 5 will go there for this sequence. X is the term number, so to find the first term, you're going to put a 1 there where the X is. To find the fifth term, you're going to put a 5 there. And then A is the zeroth term. And for this problem, that was 0.4. Okay, now I'm going to use parentheses to show multiplication here just because I have this decimal here. Um, so... Uh, so that's going to take a little practice for you to figure that out. We'll talk about a couple more here. Um, here's all the notes for you. So the X is whatever term you're on. The A is your starting value or um, zeroth term. B is your common ratio. Um, let's call that the multiplier. And then X is the term number. Okay, so we just created this sequence. Um, to get our first term, we would take our zeroth term and multiply that by 3 to the first, 5 times 3 to the first, which is 15. And then to get the next term after that, this is our multiplier 3, so we keep multiplying by 3. 15 times 3 is 45, and so on. Now, if I wanted to find, like, maybe the sixth term, what I would do is... I would do 5 times 3 to the 6th power, which is going to be a pretty big number. I'm not going to multiply that right now. But um, the first thing we're going to do is just learn how to recognize when it's a geometric ratio. Geometric means um, it's exponential. There's mul a common multiplier, common ratio. So to figure that out, we're going to divide. I'm going to do 6 divided by negative 1, which is negative 6. I'm going to do negative 36 divided by 6, which is negative 6. And I'm going to do 216 divided by negative 36, 
which is also negative 6. So um, the common ratio, let's call that R for common ratio. Actually, it's what letter in here? It's the B, isn't it, guys? So B equals negative 6 in this one. So we're going to say yes, B equals negative 6. All right, I'll do my, one more with you, and then you can try the rest. Okay, so I'm going to do 1 divided by negative 1. That's negative 1. 4 divided by 1 is 4. I am done. This is not a geometric sequence. You need to get the same ratio. All right, you try the next four, see what you get. If it is geometric, then find B, the common ratio. All right, you should have found that um, the uh, first one was not a geometric sequence. There is no common ratio. When you divide the first two, you get four. When you divide the next one, you do not get four. Um, but the rest of them are geometric sequences. Okay. Um, so if you have a geometric sequence, um, the formula for it, you will know because it's in this form, something times something to the x power. Um, and we're going to find the first three terms. Now to do that, let's just let x equal 1, x equal 2, and x equal 3. So the first term, remember this is your zeroth term, so you can't just write that down. But if you take 2.5 times 4 to the first, um, you get, I'm pretty sure you're, getting, you're going to get 10 for that, right? 2.5 times 4 is 10. But um, it would look like this on your calculator. 2.5 times 4 to the first power. That would be the first term. 2.5 times 4 to the second is the second term. And 2.5 times... And to the third is the third. Whoops, I did that wrong. Times four to the third. So 10, 40, and 160 are the first three terms. Go ahead, you do the next one. Find the first three terms. All right, here's what I got for those. Okay, here we're given the first term and the common ratio. That should say ratio. You're going to find the first three terms, so I'll do one for you. So the first term is 0.8. Let's just write that down. Um, the common ratio is 4. That means we're going to multiply by 4. 0.8 times 4 is 3.2. And then we're going to multiply 3.2 times 4, which is 12.8. So just keep multiplying by 4. On your calculator, an easy way to do that is just to put in your first term, 0 0.8, press Enter, then press times whatever number you're multiplying by. In this case, it's 4. And then you can just hit Enter. Next term will be 51.2. Okay, you go ahead and do number 10. All right, that's what I got for the first three terms. All right, um, go ahead and try these two. Find the first three terms. All right, we're given here the first two terms of a geometric sequence. Well, no, just two terms in general. We need to find the eighth term and the formula. So we're given the fourth term and the fifth term. I'm just going to write it out like this, first, second, third. Fourth term is negative 12. Fifth term is negative 6. Um, so if I want to divide these two numbers, negative 6 divided by negative 12, I get 0.5. So that is my common ratio, my B. So let's write that down. B equals that. Okay. So I know that I'm multiplying by 0.5. So now um, this is my fifth term, is negative 6. If I want the eighth term, I can just multiply by 0.5 a couple more times, three more times. So I could do uh, just enter negative 6 and then times 0.5. That would be the sixth term, seventh term, 
eighth term, negative 0.75. Um, so the eighth term. And I also need to find the formula, which means I need to go all the way back to, remember this is your fourth term. So I need to work backwards. I need to divide by my multiplier, 0.5. 1, 2, 3, 4 to get the rest of my formula. So I'm going to take negative 12 on my calculator. And I'm going to divide, because I'm working backwards, by my multiplier. That's my third term, second term. That's my first term, and that's my zero term, negative 192. So my formula is uh, f of x equals negative 192 times 0.5 to the x power. Um, you can go ahead and try this one. This one's going to be a little tricky. Let's see if you can work it out. All right, here's what I got for that, and here's how I figured it out. Um, the problem with this is, so we skip from 2, the second term, to the fifth. That's multiplying by the same number three times. Well, if I did 768 divided by 12, I get 64, but that's some number multiplied by itself three times, which happens to be 4. Um, here's the math you do to get this. I don't know if you remember doing the cube roots or not, but it's the cube root of 64. You could just guess and check till you find the number. But um, so then the zero term is I divided 12 by 4 and got 3 to get the first term. Then I divided 3 by 4 and got 3 fourths. My multiplier is 4. The eighth term is 3 fourths times 4 to the eighth, which is 49,152. All right. Um, I'm going to let you go ahead and try these homework problems. If you have any issues, just give me a message. I'll help you out with it. Uh, other than that, I'll talk to you soon.